On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2021 Specialized Diverge E5 Comp. We're going to go into some of the features and designs of this brand new version of the Specialized Diverge, as well as find out exactly what it weighs. But before we get started, be sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at James the Bike Guy so you can see sneak peeks as well as bike rides too. So let's go ahead and get into some of the features and designs of this new bike. The Specialized Diverge has been in specialized lineup of adventure gravel bikes for quite some time now. And it's on its third generation of frame set. When the Specialized Diverge first came out, it was only about a half step away from what their Roubaix Endurance bike was. It had only a little bit more tire clearance. It had a lower bottom bracket. And basically what it allowed for was a more capable endurance bike. And of course the second generation took it a little bit further. And now the third generation has really made a substantial leap forward. So the Specialized Diverge has added totally new geometry for 2021 as well as a ton of tire clearance. And I'll bring up on the screen right here the actual geometry, but basically the 2021 has a longer reach, a slacker head tube angle, more fork offset, and a higher bottom bracket. It still has one of the lower bottom brackets in the industry, but basically they've done all this to make the bike quite a bit more rowdy when you're off-road, but still fun when you're on-road. The slacker head tube angle makes for a much more confident descending bike. The higher offset fork means that you don't reduce the steering input quite as much as if you just did a slacker head tube angle. Bringing the bottom bracket up allows the bike to change directions a bit quicker, gives you a little more clearance when you're off-road. And then the longer reach is going to allow more room in the top tube. And you'll notice with that, the new bikes are coming with much shorter stems. And that's because even though the bike has a longer reach, you're still gonna be riding the same size as what you might have on the previous generation or on your road bike. So what they're looking for is bringing that front center out longer, giving the bike quite a bit more stability and capability off-road, but not trying to lengthen your position. The other incredible thing about this bike is gonna come in with the rear end. So this bike has huge tire clearance. So the bike can run 700 by 47 C tires and back, which is a whole ton of tire, or 650 B by 2.1 inch tires. And part of the way they're able to do that is through this aluminum beam construction between the chain stay and the crank. So Specialized claims they wanted to be able to have a straight chain stay as they find that it's stronger than having some of the drop stays or having that kind of arc that goes over the top of the chain ring. But to be able to run a large chain ring and have the tire clearance while still having the tire tucked kind of tight into the back end of the bike, they needed to be able to make that beam construction. On their carbon versions, that part of the bike is a solid piece of carbon. So it's pretty neat to see this technology, see that they're able to run those 700 by 47 C tires or 650 B by 2.1, just makes for absolutely gigantic tire clearance. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features of the new 2021 version, let's talk about what you get on the comp version of the bike. So the E5 comp means that it's coming with specialized E5 premium aluminum. So this is gonna have smoothed out welds, internal cable routing. You're gonna have water bottle mounts galore, as well as a top tube mount for being able to run a storage pack. And up top, you will also have the Future Shock 1.5, which offers 20 millimeters of axial compliance up front. So it helps suspend the rider. Going through the frame, you'll have a drop stay design, meaning the top tube and the seat tube are separated, which allows for a little additional flex in the back end of the bike. 
And because this bike is running a 27.2 seat post, that means you'll have a little additional compliance. This is a place where on this particular bike, I wish that was carbon because if you replace the aluminum post it comes with, with a carbon post, you'd find that you'd have a lot more give in the back end. Going down to the drivetrain, you'll see the bike is 12 by 142 through axle out back. Same can be said for the front at 12 by 100. And then you see the beautiful one by 11 Shimano GRX drivetrain. So this bike ditches the front derailleur, gets a one by 11 drivetrain, making it a much easier operation up front because you're only using the right side shifter. And it also makes for a pretty clean setup. So the GRX derailleur on this bike is the GRX 812. This is a shadow derailleur, meaning it's got a clutch mechanism to it. And it's gonna be operating the Shimano SLX 11 to 42 tooth cassette. So this will have a pretty wide range to the drivetrain and pulling forward, you're gonna to go to this Praxis Works Alba crank set, which is connected to the bike through a 68 millimeter BSA threaded bottom bracket. So this drivetrain does have a little bit of a limited range over a two by 11, but what you trade off in range, you end up getting an additional reliability because often the front derailleur is the most troublesome, especially off-road. You get a much quieter drivetrain with that clutched rear derailleur, and it's a clean setup, especially as you come to the cockpit, and you'll notice you just have a lot less cabling. It's gonna have a short 70 millimeter reach to the hoods, a 103 millimeter drop, and then a huge 12 degree flare. What that's allowing for is with that shorter drop, you can get down into it, get into an additional position, but your arms aren't gonna run into the top of the handlebar, making it a real comfortable front end for super long rides. And then you're gonna have the specialized power saddle on the back which this is a body geometry saddle. You'll notice it's a truncated design, meaning that it's three centimeters shorter in the front end to help relieve pressure on your perineum. And then finally, this bike is set up with the Pathfinder Sport tires. These are a 700 by 38 C tire. It's going through on the Axis Elite disc wheel set. This is a 21 millimeter internal width rim. It's got a 23 millimeter depth to it and then it's gonna run 24 spokes up front and 28 spokes in the rear. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features and designs of this 2021 Specialized Diverge Comp, let's go ahead and find out what this bike weighs. The actual weight of the Specialized Diverge E5 Comp Aluminum and a 54 centimeter comes in at 21.3 pounds. So thanks for watching this video on the 2021 Specialized Diverge Comp E5. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this aluminum gravel bike with updated and modern geometry. Let me know what you think this bike would be like out on the trail. Are you into gravel? You know, what would you change on the bike if you could? While you're at it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know you enjoyed the video as well as be sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future.